so they're my favorite Scentsy people. Should I say favorite Scentsy people? Isn't that what you say? No. What do you say? I say, hello, my favorite people. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> I guess you don't say Scentsy in there, do you? No, but okay. should I? <laughs> No, I think, well, not. because not all my audience is Scentsy. Right. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe they are. Hello, my favorite people. My name is Amber Fowler, and I'm here with more fragrance for you, but to... <laughs> This is how they all start, by the okay. way. This is pretty normal. Hello, my favorite people. My name is Amber Fowler, and today I have a very special guest to share with you, my mom. So this is Cindy. Hi! <laughs> And in today's video, we are going to be taking a look and a sniff through all of the Scentsy Wax Bars that I have been using for the past few weeks. And today we have a very special surprise for you. So be sure to stay tuned till the end. Okay. <laughs> to the next screen. So we are going to go through 15 different scents that I've been using in my apartment and I am sharing these with my mom and some of them she's smelled before and some of them she might not have. So you're going to get a blend of her reaction and her first sniffs. Let's get into it. Starting right off the bat we have fried ice cream. You can see I got this in December of 2022. This was actually a bring back my bar from January of... 2023, right? Yeah, 2023. Yeah, 2023. That's what it would be. Let's just open it up and smell it. Mmm, this one's a favorite of mine. What do you think? Mm, mine too. Oh, my <laughs> stuff just... <laughs> it's attacking me. So what, what do you think it smells like? When you smell that, what does it smell like? Cinnamon. There you have it, folks. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like cinnamon. <laughs> I don't think I'll all the notes like you do you have this way of picking up all the different notes and i just it smells like cinnamon well that's a huge compliment because honestly it's not like you i can smell like i'm amazed at your videos when you say it smells like this that and the other because and then 99 percent of the time you're right I would not say 99%. Okay, maybe 90, but still, you pick up all the different notes in there, and I I don't, usually. Like, that's just one variation of cinnamon to me. There's many more, because I'm very much a bakery person, but... So what variation of cinnamon would you describe this as? The kind that goes on ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to know. That's the beauty of this video is literally you do not have to know that. I do not know what is in the Scentsy bars when I smell them. Like when you get my first sniffs, I have no idea what's in them. And again, I would not say 99% of the time I guess that right. But I'm always really, really excited when I do guess something right. So fried ice cream this is a very creamy scent. It's very much like a light cinnamon scent. It's not your harsh, strong cinnamon stick. Fried ice cream is vanilla with a nutty touch along with cinnamon and caramel. So it's creamy it's gourmand it's just delicious it, it really good. does do you think it smells it like fried it, ice cream? yes it does it smells like fried ice cream like you need to go to the mexican restaurant and that's what it's gonna smell like yep, yep. fried ice cream so i warmed fried ice cream in my living room and in my bedroom with my new little mini scentsy warmer that i've gotten there i put in the scent sugar you can see again, uh, most of the bars that I have for whatever reason are bring back my bar. So I got this, <laughs> at least I think I got this in November of 2021. My mom has recently enlightened me that maybe that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> if you see 1121 on these, it might not be right. So to me, sugar, it's a light, dainty kind of a scent. It's very sweet, but I wouldn't call it gourmand, which is why I thought it would be perfect for the bedroom. But what do you think? That's, to me, that's way too perfumey. I would say this is perfume. I, I don't, I don't care for it. Yeah, this is not one of my personal favorite bars, but I would say I like sugar way better than I like pink haze. No. No? No. You like pink haze? I more? like pink haze. Really? I've bought several bars of pink haze. I don't smell the <laughs> perfuminess in pink haze. But, but I does don't it... like perfume smells at all. I don't either, but I think pink haze smells like perfume. So wait, so to you, does pink haze smell like marshmallow fondant? No, but I have purchased several bars of pink haze. 
I like pancakes. I hmm. do not like sugar. And there is a prime example <laughs> of how two noses can smell <laughs> and like or dislike the same scent. The official description of sugar is a fruity blend of lemon drops and cotton candy. All right, I got to me to me that description sounds like something that I should love and doesn't have perfume in it at all, but it definitely to me smells very perfumey. That is the reason why I bought this bar is because of that description because I did not know what sugar smelled like. Although, I mean, I didn't remember that that's what the description was. But upon smelling it, this smells more like sweet linen with a touch of perfume than it does a fruity blend of lemon and cotton candy. I don't smell lemon. I don't smell lemon at all in that. I don't smell lemon either and I don't I'm like maybe cotton candy like maybe but I feel like it smells more like linen than cotton candy. I personally prefer this over pink haze. The scent worked very well in the bedroom. This is not something that I think that I would want to warm in our living space but yeah so that is sugar. This is so much fun. I'm having a really good time with you. <laughs> can you fly out to me all the time so we can do these together? I wish. Maybe, that would be really maybe fun. Maybe closer to home. Or... <laughs> <laughs> or I'll come down to your house for a week and we'll just make a whole bunch. That sounds like my kind of style. Yeah. Our third bar is Spiced Orange Harvest, and I'm not going to comment on the uh, label down here. Just know it was a bring back my bar at some point. This one's not like a personal favorite and my husband thinks it smells like Clorox, but I disagree with that. <laughs> um, it just smells like a very strong orange scent with spice. Yep. Yeah. Oranges and spice. I can kind of see why he says it smells a little like a cleaning product because it, it kind of does have an orange scent that you would find in a cleaning product. Yeah. I mean, I don't discount what he says. I just don't think yeah. it smells it's like, like straight Clorox. Clorox. Yeah. You know, nothing no. against Clorox. To me, it's just not, it's more citrus than I am expecting, I think. I mean, I know it's called Spiced Orange Harvest, but it is a very, like, punch-you-in-the-face orange. Spiced Orange Harvest is strong, sweet oranges spiced with cloves and cinnamon, so. Kind of describes it. Yep. That's, in that's, a nutshell. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's it. All right, so I had Spiced Orange Harvest in the living room and in the bedroom I had Coconut Palm. So this is a first for my channel. So Coconut Palm was in the Bring Back My Bar for January of 2023 as well. And I'll let my mom do a first sniff on this one. Let me know if I need to hold this up higher for you. I don't want you to keep bending. Yeah, it's coconut for sure, but not as strong. It's not, it doesn't smell like suntan lotion coconut. It's kind of a bland coconut. You don't think that smells like sunscreen? No, I don't. I smell something else besides coconut that it isn't to my liking. Hmm. To me, this has a sunscreen note to it. Coconut palm is a blend of tropical coconut and musky patchouli. That's what we don't like. That's what we don't like. With subtle green notes. And I will say, honestly, I really don't smell patchouli or green notes in here, but I'm guessing that that's what's making this smell weird. It just yeah, smells it weird. smells weird. In the bedroom, though, because it is such a light scent and the bedroom's smaller, I think I would prefer this scent for the bedroom anyway, so that's probably just where I'm going to keep using this one. I don't hate it. I don't love it. Probably will never, ever get another bar of that. Moving right along, I have Fairy Tale Pumpkin, and I got this in October of 2021. Now, this was a scent of pumpkin. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that was October of 2021, right? Probably. Probably. Have you smelled fairy tale pumpkin? No, I have not. Just never smell fairy tale pumpkin. If you've smelled fairy, <laughs> if you've smelled fairy tale pumpkin, go ahead and leave a comment below to let us know and let me know what you think because this scent can be a little polarizing, and you're gonna find out why in just a few seconds. But I'm gonna let my mom do a first sniff. What do you think? <laughs> Um, it's very licorice -y. It also smells fruity, though. I don't smell pumpkin. <laughs> Hence the name pumpkin. I would think that I would smell pumpkin, but it almost has like a blueberry smell to me. Blueberry black licorice. I am just going to go ahead and read the description because I think she's going to be pretty pleasantly surprised by her description here. An epic fantasy of harvest pumpkin, 
Midnight Black Raspberry, Raspberry. and a Whisper of Black Licorice. I told you, you don't that's have to pretty, know. You just gotta, you just gotta try. Close. Yeah, that, I, I mean, that's... I didn't smell any pumpkin, but I, I, I did smell the berry <laughs> and the licorice. Yeah, I don't smell pumpkin in this either. I definitely get the black raspberry. And then honestly, for me, maybe the pumpkin is what makes it kind of smell creamy. I don't know. Do you smell any kind of creaminess to this? No? To me, it smells like blueberry black licorice. But like a creamy, it's not like a sharp black raspberry. Like mm -hmm. black raspberry vanilla is a little sharp. I, th I think. I don't really get the pumpkin note out of this, and I do not pick up on black licorice. Oh man, that was the first thing I smelled. I, I, I know, that's what everybody says. When I first smelled this, I thought it was very unique and fruity, and I liked it. I did not pick up on black licorice, so maybe that's why I don't mind this scent and everybody else hates it. I, I don't know. But like I said, it's pretty polarizing, so let us know in the comments what you think. That was for the living room. For the bedroom, I had Midnight Fig, and I got this in April of 2022, or at least I think I did. It was a bring back my bar. As you know, you guys have seen Midnight Fig pop up throughout some of my previous videos, and if not, I will go ahead and link one up here so you can check that out. We are on our last three cubes. Hallelujah. This is probably my least favorite fruity scent of all time or that that I own excuse me and you know what I, now that after that coconut palm I guess I can't really even say that anymore I'm trying to decide if I like this more or less than coconut palm we'll let you be yeah the, I've never seen the tiebreaker oh, so which one I like least okay yeah which one you like more or less okay. than the other before I read off the description I'll just go ahead and let you have a blind sniff here mm. coconut or midnight fig which is worse which is worse that, that. This. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, so my statement was true. Yeah, this is strong. Very I'm going to close this. Strong. It is a very strong. Would you say it's perfumey? I'm so I didn't get that. I, didn't, I don't really get a perfumey smell like I did from sugar from that. No, that's just a very pungent smell. That's not pleasing. How would you describe it? Is it sour? Is it fresh, floral? It's definitely not dull. It's sharp. It's fruity, I guess. It's not something I would purchase. Yeah, I regret this purchase. I thought with something called Midnight Fig that this would smell more fruity and berry-like. I don't know why. I mean... Is it in the fruity category? Is that is it in the fruits category? It might be in the woods category. I'm looking at the oh, description right now. it's in the woods category. I definitely would never buy it. So Midnight Fig is earthy, ripened figs. Earthy. That's a scent Earthy. that I would use to describe yeah. this for sure. Yeah. And golden berries. Did you get berries out of this? It was kind of, I did smell fruit. Okay. It was fruity. Tempered by musky woods. <laughs> we'll open your eyes and captivate your senses. <laughs> I think it opened our eyes more than it captivated your us. <laughs> There's definitely a berry note to this, but it's, I would consider this dark. And I know it says midnight fig. And I think that that's appropriate because it's a very deep, dark rich kind of a yes, scent it's very it's very strong thick yeah it's a, it's a powerful one yes. so if that's your style you like them strong scents that can really fill a room this one packs that punch and if you're big into kind of the the fruity with a little bit of like earthy wood kind of notes then this one's perfect for you. This was a Bring Back My Bar, so we may have to wait until another Bring Back My Bar event to see this scent again. All right, number seven, I have Breakfast in Bed. This one's a really nice one. It is sweet. Think of a full breakfast. Like I wouldn't even say this is just the pancakes and this is just mm -hmm. the waffles and the syrup. This is the hash browns, the eggs, everything's cooking and mixing together in, in the kitchen. And there's, and there's a fruity hint to it, too, to me. I smell fruit. I get that. Mm -hmm. What kind of fruit do you think that is? Strawberry, maybe? I don't know. Like strawberry preserves, blueberry, yeah. pancakes. Yeah, some kind of strawberry note. It's, yeah, it's, it's like a light red berry. It's very delicious smelling when it's warming. Very awesome. I agree with this. My husband hated this scent. He is not big on syrup sense so i've only used two cubes of this and this is my first bar of this at all gonna have to be really creative and 
when and how I use this so that he doesn't have to smell it. <sighs> when your husband doesn't like Scentsy as much as you do. No, I'm just kidding. My husband loves Scentsy. He just doesn't like syrup scents. In the bedroom, paired with that, I had sugared strawberry. You can see I have used up almost all of my bar. I've got three cubes left. Don't ask me why it's weirdly shaped like that. I have no idea. I can't explain that. <laughs> But you know what sugar strawberry is. I think you just yeah. warmed this one yourself, didn't you? I did. And I was pleasantly surprised that it cleaned out my dish. Oh yeah, it cleaned out her dish. So yeah. in the Scentsy world, it is a well-known tip that the scent black raspberry vanilla will clean out your Scentsy dishes because when you melt the wax, for some reason, there's just like you get a little bit of residue left behind after you've used and used and used. It'll build up this little layer of residue and the black raspberry vanilla will clean it up. Well, Occasionally, you'll get one uh, Scentsy bar in there, totally random, that will clean it out for you too. So yes. I've I've warmed sugared strawberry numerous times, and I don't recall it ever cleaning out my dish. Hmm. But I just warmed it, and when I cleaned out my dishes, it just cleaned the one that was warming that right up. So hmm. how would you describe this type of strawberry scent? It's not very strawberry. I mean, it's I can smell strawberry, but it's not as much of a strawberry scent as I thought it would be. It's very toned down. So I, I'm not sure what else is in there besides I'm assuming sugar. I think this smells like artificial strawberry. Yeah. Like it doesn't smell like fresh picked strawberry, but it kind of smells like artificial strawberry. The square ones that you open up in the wrapper. Every flavor. Starburst. Oh. <laughs> I'm Starburst. thinking chiclets. I don't know why. I'm thinking, <laughs> thinking chiclets. What did I just call them? Starburst. Starburst. <laughs> Starburst. Yeah. I mean, it kind of smells like a Starburst. Did you know that there's lemon in this? Do you smell lemon in this? No. I don't either. There's lemon in this. So the official description of sugar strawberry is fusing homegrown goodness with pick and eat fun. Sugar strawberry blends fresh, luscious strawberries, juicy currants, and California sun-kissed lemons. Maybe the lemon is what makes it tones down the strawberry scent. It could. I mean, yeah, I could kind of give it that unique little flair. All in all, very good bar. Would buy again. Would you buy this again? It's not my favorite. Not, oh, really? Yeah. You don't like this? That's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I just don't, I, it's just not one of my favorites. I have many other favorites that I would rather and that's do i like it yes would i warm it yes would i buy eight bars of it no that's fair would i buy eight bars that's of fair. some other things absolutely would i buy one more bar of this yes do i need 20 of these no it's good but it's not great and that's coming from two gourmand lovers correct we are gourmand fruity spice and a citrus. little bit of citrus i'm a little well I no like i like citrus it depends like the spice orange harvest, I don't care for. Yeah. But let, give me some lemon, lemon sorbet. Lemon. lemon sorbet, squeeze the day. Lemon drizzle cake. Lemon, dri lemon drizzle cake. Lemon. <laughs> Even coconut lemongrass. Oh yeah, I'm that's a lemon. great one too. Lemons are. Mm. Yeah, lemon is good. Orange is, no, I'm just kidding. I like, I like, I like some orange. Citrus. There's some good orange ones too. Sunkiss citrus is good. Do you have a favorite fruit scent? Oh, a couple. A couple? Yeah. My favorite fruit scent is cherry, and that is actually going to lead me into my next one. So I use cherry almond pie again. I put cherry almond pie in my last video as well. You can see I've used four whole cubes of this, so I've worn this twice in my living room. And this was a bring back my bar some time ago. This is one that I would say is probably my biggest disappointment. I would say with Scentsy because the throw on this is stronger me opening this bar, I can smell it and I'm holding it away from me right here. Strong and it's good, right? Yeah, oh yeah. It smells very good. so good. Very good. You warm it and it smells good. It smells like this for like four hours and then you don't smell this at all. It's gone. Scent is done. And for four hours, I'm like, it's just not fun. I like these lasting much longer than Considering that. Considering the amount of throw that that puts when you open the container, you would think that it would be a very strong scent when you're warming it, but it's really not. It's very light. It smells good. It smells good. But light. I would buy it again. Oh, I would. I would definitely buy I would 100% buy this again. <laughs> but I need I have, this to be stronger. <laughs> I have a few bars 
behind me. What do you smell when you smell it? It's like cherry, but it's definitely mixed with something. Do you smell vanilla? Yes. I kind of smell vanilla. I think I well, maybe really it's smell, almond. It's almond extract. Yeah, that's what it is. That's, that's exactly, exactly what it is. It is. It's almond, almond extract. extract. Yeah. I think I would smell pie crust or something, but I, I don't really. I think cherry I get like almond. a very faint pie crust. Very faint. But yes, cherry is the thing that like you Not hold this out. Know. It's cherry pie filling is what you smell. So. But the almond extract, you definitely smell that too. Yes, and it makes the cherry really unique, unique smelling. smelling. It's not like straight cherry. It smells like a sweet, yummy, like you want to take a bite of it cherry. Yeah. It's very good. Very, very good. This is described as graham crackers, sweet almond cream, and cherries. So we had, I mean, I already kind of knew the description of this, but yeah. the almond extract part, like that is simply like, I wouldn't even say almond cream. I would say almond extract. That is cherry almond pie. So because this one lasted me four hours, I did have to put in another scent to last me the full two days that I usually use these. So for that, I chose cinnamon vanilla. This one is also currently available in our catalog. And it was the first time I've ever warmed this scent. When I first smelled ever? this- Yeah. Ever, ever? Yeah, ever. When I first smelled this scent, I was a little confused because it's cinnamon, but the vanilla to me is very coconutty. I don't know why, just to my nose, it smells like cinnamon and coconut and vanilla. It's just a weird combination for me. I, I don't know, but what do you think? It's a very light cinnamon and vanilla to me. I don't, I don't really smell coconut too much. It smells like just a tapered down cinnamon to me. Do you get any kind of sunscreen vibes from this? No. Really? No. I do. And that's, I don't know, it just makes it weird because cinnamon to me is a very fall type of a scent or more of a fall. It's not always a fall scent, but it's more of a fall scent. Do you think it smells like a summer scent? Personally, I don't really consider any of the spice or most bakery scents to be a summer scent unless it's like lemon drizzle cake, which is a cakey, lemony, more of a fruity bakery. So you're saying all bakery scents don't smell? Uh, I'm saying most of the bakery scents and most of the spice scents, I don't really consider them spring summer unless it's something like lemon drizzle cake that's got a fruit component to the bakery component as well mm -hmm. like cherry cherry almond pie i could say would be a summer scent yeah yeah i mean because people but bake cinnamon vanilla pie. to me is something that i could use year round it should just be cinnamon and vanilla as the name says inviting blend of vanilla beans cinnamon coconut cassia cassia cat uh cassia cassia well, I don't know what cassia is. If you know what cassia is, put it in the comments. blend of vanilla beans, cinnamon, coconut. So you're smelling coconut. <gasps> it has smell coconut in it. I didn't smell the coconut. I got that right. I didn't even think I knew that this was the description of that. That makes me feel pretty good now because she made me feel See? like I was crazy for smelling coconut. Yeah, you usually pick up on these notes. It's like crazy. Much. That is nuts. It has coconuts. After cherry almond pie, I used the cinnamon vanilla. And that was out in the living space. And then I used huckleberry and clementine in the bedroom. So huckleberry and clementine to me smells like a much better version of that midnight fig. Do you know what this smells like? I've, I've had it before. It's been a while, so I don't recall exactly I feel what like it smells like. This is a fruitier, brighter version of Midnight Fig. It should, it should have orange smell in there, I would assume by the name. And some huckleberry. I'm not sure exactly what huckleberry smells like, but I would assume yeah. that a berry and orangey would, would be what I would expect. Is that what you get? Mm. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> not what I got either. No. Um, so <laughs> the citrus note to me smells more like a grapefruit. It's not very I can see that vibrant. It's more soury and I don't really smell berries. Any other whiffs or, or guesses? I don't remember what the description is for this. No, I don't. I don't know either. So this is another one where I'd say earthy might be a good. Yeah, I'd say that too. Verb. Just kidding. Adjective. <laughs> Because it's, to me, it's fruity for sure. It is definitely it's fruity. Definitely fruity. But it's a deep, dark, rich fruity that's brighter than Midnight Fig. Midnight Fig takes like all the brightness out of the fruit and just it's just dark. This has at least a little bit more spring to it. 
Yes. But it's a, would you say it's along the same lines yes. as, as yeah. yeah. It's just a, it's a better it's lighter lighter sure. fruitier version of Midnight Fig. Yeah. Huckleberry preserves clementine and a sprig of strawberry vine. That's probably what's making it earthy. That's the earthy. That's the earthy. We found it. It's there. Coming up next, one of your faves. Vanilla waves. <laughs> it rhymes. <laughs> it does vanilla waves oh, i love this scent so much this one is probably the reason why i am going to do a sense that got away from me video it's because of this one because i rave and rave about vanilla waves and that is because it is one of my absolute hands down one of my favorite scents from Scentsy. This is one of the most unique scents that I've ever smelled. It combines gourmand and aquatic beach notes together. Such a bright, fresh, refreshing new scent to me. I, I, I love this. Hold on while I just picture myself on the beach holding my ice cream cone. <laughs> it smells very good. You, you like smell, this scent too? Oh yeah. I don't smell any coconut. Like, I don't feel beach vibes. But I don't smell coconut. It's, um... You don't get beach vibes from this. Mm. Not at all. Like, think, like, sand and salty air. Mm. Salty waves, like water. No. Nothing? It's very strong vanilla. It is a it's very, very strong it's vanilla. It's way stronger than, like, vanilla bean buttercream. Which oh, is, yes. Yeah. Very light. Vanilla bean buttercream. It's very I'm light. disappointed in that one, too. I like it. I usually I like it, it, but but it's very light. It is very light. light. This is much stronger vanilla. Oh yeah, you walk into a room and it's like, whew, but it's this. Yeah, it mm, it's just so good. You just gotta trust me on that. What do you, what notes do you think are in this besides vanilla? Obviously, something sweet. Do you want to do the honors? Sea salt and whipped vanilla crash into sticky caramel for. An Elegant fusion of opposites. Something sweet. Caramel. Caramel. Vanilla. Sea salt. Vanilla. I don't smell the sea salt. I get like salty air at the beach is what I get. It does kind of smell like fused salted with caramel. Vanilla. Yeah, fused with like... Salted caramel with vanilla. That's what it is. Like salted caramel it's so ice cream. Good. Oh, it's, so, it's so good. Like, I mean, do you, but do you picture eating an ice cream cone when you mm -hmm. smell this? Because yeah, I do. Good. Yeah. When I had performing in my living room, again, this one is so good for a, a good throw. It definitely pushes throughout the open space. And for my closed in space, we were just talking about this, was vanilla bean buttercream. Because it is such a light scent, I did want to try a smaller space to see if that would make it just a touch stronger, make it feel a touch stronger. And I think it did. I don't know that I'll ever be using this in a big open space anymore just because it just doesn't. Yeah, I don't typically use that except here in my office or in our bedroom because it's not very strong. But it smells. It smells delicious. Oh. It smells just delicious. Yeah. Delicious, buttery, creamy, vanilla-y goodness. Like you opened- Like you could eat it. Yeah, like you opened a can of a Pillsbury- frosting, frosting. Vanilla frosting and just dipped. That's what this smells like. It's, so, oh, it's just so good. That's a fantastic. Go ahead and read us the description. Decadent buttercream frosting made with the freshest butter whipped with cane sugar and vanilla extract. Exactly what we just said. Exactly what you just said. Scent master in the making. Very, very light, <laughs> but very good. Very light, but very good. Yes. Guys, we are at our last two bars. That's not all the bars we have for like I said, we've got a special surprise for you, but last two for the ones that I've been warming. And so what I've got here and what has been warming in my home most recently is Very Merry Cranberry. Don't ask me why it's a winter scent. Um, <laughs> honestly, I don't think Very Merry Cranberry has to be a winter scent. It doesn't, no. It's a fruity scent, but it's a winter. Cranberries, I think, are just more associated with Christmas time and mm -hmm. it's fruity, Double so wax. it can go all year Yeah, round. I tried holding off to keep this more for like Christmas, winter. But I just feel like fruity scents are more now time of year, even if it is yeah. cranberry. And this doesn't give off any kind of spice or pine or anything like that. It's you know, straight it's, cranberry to me. What do you yeah, think? It's, it's got a, I don't know. It, it, to me, it does have a wintry note in that. I don't know it, what it is. It does, but it's not, you wouldn't it's say it's pine, pine no. it's not spice, right? No. 
There, it, it does. It does, but I think it still does it's still all right. It's still enough that you could warm it year round. I warm everything all year round. It Do you like it? Christmas. Yeah. It could be Christmas and I can have lemon drizzle cake in. They're your bars. You do what you, you want, want with them. them. <laughs> yeah. You can warm them whenever you want. <laughs> you can, you can I, judge I, all I you want. I warm pumpkin swirl in July. Don't have a problem. Yeah, well, or for February, February or any time. I was doing pumpkin, lots of pumpkin stuff. But that's because they're all going older and I just want to make sure I use them before they go bad. Yeah, I wonder what notes are in this. All right. Cranberry, Mary Cranberry. Lush red winter berries pop against a backdrop of snow-covered cedar. That's Ooh. what it is, creating a lovely winter landscape. But would you say this is a woody scent? No, but I could smell, I think that's what I smelled was the cedar, which was giving me a winter vibe. But I don't really smell it as woodsy, I just smelled it as wintry. Yeah. Because I'm not usually big on wood notes. In fact, I wouldn't purchase wood notes. Have you ever had this bar? I don't even know. Pull out your list. No, I'm just kidding. It's a sad, <laughs> sad situation. <laughs> I probably have. Well, I don't know. If I would have read the this description so first, good. I probably would not. Because it has, as soon as I see cedar or any kind of wood, I don't typically I don't smell purchase. cedar. I don't really smell cedar in that either. It definitely does have a... It has a, a winteriness to it. ...vibe to it. And I'm assuming that's from the cedar. Yeah, I would But I don't distinctly too. smell well, wood when I smell snow, that. It said snow, snow cedar. I guess it's snow, se snow, snow covered cedar. So maybe it's mellowed down cedar because the snow and it, it dampened, dampened it a little. <laughs> <laughs> that was going in my living room and in my bedroom, I've got cinnamon buttercream and I am down to my last two cubes of this bar. Here's what I want to know. Do you like cinnamon buttercream? Yes, I love cinnamon buttercream. I know it's not one of your favorites. What does it smell like to you? That's what I want to know. Well, it smells very buttercreamy with a hint of cinnamon to me that's what i smell so, not strong cinnamon like cinnamon bear or sticky cinnamon bun mm -mm. it's more of the cinnamon you put on your toast it's a light sugary. cinnamon but i mean you don't <gasps> like that one so much when i think buttercream i think vanilla bean buttercream like icing Creamy. that you dip and you just want to this to me has such a there is a weird flat-ish note to that it doesn't smell creamy like this no it doesn't but and this is what i wanted to see i like <laughs> it i had this i like it i warm it it's not a strong scent either it's a bedroom or an office scent for me my husband likes the scent so we keep it around for him <laughs> all right so you've made it to this super special secret part of this video mom yes. what do you have for us today today i have just some of my favorite bars ever how many um i have 10 here these are in my top 20 favorites but these are top 10 that i could find quickly yeah, let's go. smell right, these the first one i have and i was so excited that this came back in a bring back my bar even though it does not say bring back my bar on this bar none of them did i just am realizing that now none of them none of them did do well, you know which year? <laughs> I do, because I just got it in <laughs> June. This is June 2023. I was so excited. This was my favorite bar. I was looking forward to coming back out. I bought, I don't know, three of them. I added them to my club. I will never not have this scent again. <laughs> it is Churro Churro. Yeah. So good. What do you like about it? Oh, it just, it just smells like... Heaven with cinnamon, cinnamon on it. <laughs> creaminess, something I just want to scoop up and eat. Mm -hmm. So good. Yeah, it's like... So good. Oh, oh my gosh. I can't put... Like, it smells like fried dough with, with ice cinnamon. cream and cinnamon. I get cream. Do you get cream out of that? Yes, it's creamy. Something creamy in that. It's creamy. We don't have all the descriptions on these bars. This is just a special thing at the end, but so good. Came out in June, not available anymore again until it comes back out again and bring back my bar someday. But you can almost bet that that will show up in another bring back my bar because yes. that one has a very huge following in the Scentsy world. Yes. Huge. Love it. Another one, I'm just grabbing these randomly. This was also bring back my bar from January 2022, I'm guessing. This is a fruity scent and it's Mandarin Moon. So good too. 
Go ahead. That's a very unique orangey scent. It's very good though. Oh my god. Does it, it smell different? It's better one? warming. I was about to say, does yeah, it smell it different? It really warming? does. I used to have one called Mandarin Toffee Treat. That was the bomb too. If they bring that back, I don't have any of that right now, or it'd probably be up here too. That was very good as well. Hmm. I think I have a bar of that. But I haven't worn that. Mandarin Toffee Treat? No, oh, um, this? Mandarin Moon. Mm -hmm. oh. This next one, I think, is probably my all time favorite bar. Well, you know what? I'm going to save that one for last. Yeah, save the best for last. Okay. Next. Um, this is also a bring back my bar. It's been a bring back my bar several times. It is banana nut bread. And if you like banana nut bread, you will love this bar. This it bar smells is bomb. Just like banana nut bread. Oh my god. So good. And this... I don't like bananas. I can't stand bananas, but I love banana nut bread. That's because it's more like a dessert. But this smells like authentic um, banana, banana nut, nut bread. bread. Not artificial banana, which yeah. I can't stand artificial banana. I don't like banana, period, anything. But, but that, that smells like, long. and I, I mean, I bake banana bread, like, yeah. often. And I think that that smells just, just, like, this much better than when I'm actually baking it. Yeah. Like, it's, it's, it's that good. Very, very good. It's very, like, on point with the name. This one is fruity, but cakey. Lemon drizzle cake. Now, you get the lemon. The lemon's the first. lemon. Lots of lemon. The icing. Mm -hmm. And yep. the cake. Yep. All of it. So good. So, so good. Do you have that in the pod? I don't know. Don't feel pressured to go look. I don't know. I was using a pod of that in my office. And when, like, after the first week, people were coming into my office and saying that it smelled like baby powder. Do you get any hint of I that? I never smell it. Mm -mm. When you warm this? Have you warmed this yet? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm just, I mean, this is a new bar, but I have worn this. I was just curious times. because I don't get baby powder when mm -hmm. I smell that. Mm -hmm. Like, not at all. But the pod, after a week, and, and it took somebody else pointing this out. Like, I didn't get this until somebody else pointed it out. They were like, oh, that smells like baby powder. But, like, in the best way. And I'm not a big powdery type of person. But, I, yeah, I was really kind of hoping maybe the wax would smell more uh, I'm or never, less like baby I'm never, powder. Have you not worn this yet? Ever? No. Mm. Oh my Actually, that was the only, that, I mean, is that the bar that I just gave you? Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> that was the, that was the only bar I've ever bought of it. Really? That's about to go on my Scentsy Club. Yeah. That, I mean, I, like, out, like, realistically, that is about I'm to go on my sure Scentsy Club. I'm sure this came out in a three pack with this. Getting a Scentsy History my lesson. My next one, which is Blueberry Burst. Ooh. It was blueberry burst, lemon drizzle cake, and something else that was pink. Those two together, though. That would be a bomb. Blueberry burst, they've brought it, they've had it come back a couple times mm, in various it sounds like it's sales. good. Oh. I've never smelled it before. Oh, wait, blueberry burst? Are you sure that that's, wait, okay, I have a blueberry scent that smells very similar to that. There's I don't blueberry think rush. Maybe it's that one. It smells very similar. Yeah, to that. there's blueberry. And that one's really. And I've gotten that and bring back my bars. Yes, but blueberry. I love blueberry. I love blueberry anything. Bath and Body Works blueberry. I have like I don't know, 15 bottles of blueberry <laughs> crumble soap. That's my favorite Bath and Body Works scent. Anyway, so lemon drizzle cake, blueberry burst. What was the other one? Do you remember what the other one came out with in that pack? It's behind me. I don't oh. know. It might be in this top one. She even has all of them in the old original packaging. Here's your lemon drizzle cake. And the other one that came out with the blueberry. What is this burst. one? This is raspberry lollipop. Ooh! Can we smell that sure. while we're talking about it? Because that smells good. That really does smell it's like, like a rasp raspberry spray. lollipop. It's very Rubiscus? Raspberry. Did you just say rubiscus? No. <laughs> No, those are your <laughs> words that you make up. Oh, that's really good. I know it. This was man. A when did this come out? I guess in March Stop. of 2022. I think this was the Easter. This was the Easter. That would make so much sense. There's the little Easter, bunnies on it. This was their Easter thing. Oh, hi. Okay, we here we go. A whole pack. set of the ones that got away. Well, except for lemon drizzle cake. Of course. Yeah, and then they brought lemon drizzle cake back. But so I see. I haven't used this bar yet either. This is another <laughs> fruity favorite, and it's apple cherry strudel it's got the fruity oh it it's smells got the bakery it's got the it smells just like a cherry strudel pie i mm -hmm. mean for real do you get icing in this 
No, I don't think there's icing on the cherry strudel pie. Oh, really? It's but oh, I get, the, I get like a the strudely um, stuff. Like crumbly. I get like a crispy, golden, sugary yeah, it's note like the to strudel. that. You know what strudel is, right? Oh, I am p putting it together now. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> it's like the crumble. Like the top. brown sugar crumble. Well, like, yeah, that's on, on top, top. Like crumb top. Yeah, yes, it's the crumb top. It's the crumb top. <laughs> it, that's the topping that goes on the apple cherry strudel. <laughs> so good yeah that is really good and it smells so good. oh it's so good that yeah. yeah that smells like breakfast like give me some of it's, that yes it's breakfast it's dessert delicious. breakfast next is this one i forget when it came out and then it came back out and just bring back my bar and then it came out in the sales that they were having in october november december with the warmer and then you mm -hmm. could pick like four bars to go with and that was a good deal by the way sensei you yeah, got us good on that one um, yeah, do it again. Stroop waffle delight. I don't really know what stroop waffle is, but <laughs> you don't need to. <laughs> it smells so good. Again, oh yeah, that's like a sweet, buttery bomb. It's really good. It's very sweet. Like I feel like that's really sweet. I bought warmers I didn't even need, so I could get this for warmers that you didn't need, but you so use and or can sell. Sell. Turn around, around and sell. Turn around and sell. If you didn't know already, my mom is also a Sensi independent consultant. Yes. And so am I. I should have put that in. a very bad addiction that you can see <laughs> behind me. And in front of me. And all these drawers are filled with Sensi bars. I need her like setup. all of them. And there's more shelves up there that you can't see. Next, we'll go with, they have had this scent. They bring it back most winters, and I hope they continue to do so. Winterberry apple tea. Heck yes this is oh. the bomb too it's the bomb skittles so good oh that's oh it's absolutely hands down probably in my top 10. yes i don't really smell tea but you don't smell tea a bit maybe i don't know i feel I like the tea like... note is it just kind of makes it a little bit more muted M yeah yes anyway very delicious always have this on hand and would you say that that is an all year round scent yes I think so. I do too. I, I mean, you can call I mean, it winter like berry, said, but don't yeah. let that stop you yeah. from using it in the spring or I, summer. I've worn it all year round. I warm everything all year round. <laughs> like I said, if I liked pine scents, I probably would maybe not warm them except around Christmas yeah. time. But everything else, I warm it all year round. I switch them up between bakery and then fruity and then spice and then citrus. So I just always have a different scents going on. Why do you do like, that? So I don't get nose blind to my smells. And okay, I'm gonna put in a little pitch here. What's good about Scentsy when it comes to nose blindness is that you buy eight cubes of wax. Your two cubes or even one cube can last you two days, would you say, of warming. Mm -hmm. And then you get to switch it out and mix and match throughout your whole week so that you don't get nose blind. Whereas with a candle, and you used to I warm used to burn candles. candles. I was a very much candle person prior to Scentsy. You have one candle. It is the candle. You're stuck with the same scent until so it's scent, done. Unless you, unless you put just. It away and, and get but it then you've got this big, bulky. Other Scentsy plug is if you wanted to, I could put a cube of blueberry burst in my warmer with a cube of lemon drizzle cake and make a blueberry lemon burst drizzle cake. Mm -hmm. And you can't do that with candles either. You can't. Um, I mean, you could, but it would be extremely difficult and time consuming and unnecessary. Two different candles yeah. at the same time. But blend the senior warmer together and make up your own concoctions. Mixology. Sensi mixology. Okay. The mixology dance. Yes. The wicked wicked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Down to my last two. This was a bar that I was really upset that they didn't put into the spring and summer catalog this year because I just really thought they would. No. And it got you like it got me with vanilla it waves. did and I didn't have a club at the time so I couldn't put it in there. It is red, white, and berry pie. So good. <laughs> strong cherry flavor. Mm hmm very strong cherry flavor. It smells like oh. straight up cherry pie. Different kind of cherry pie than the cherry apple streusel or and apple cherry strudel. Different from the cherry almond pie. Yes. 
This has a blend of apple and it has that strudel. This is just straight up cherry pie. I feel like so this good. one has like a coolness to it. Yeah. Like hard to describe. It almost smells popsicle-y, but maybe I'm smelling like Cool Whip. I don't know. It's like a cool cherry pie. Anyway, it is, that is, it is fantastic. That and is, it's, and it's a good strong like when it's warming. It's it projects well. It projects well. See that this is the one that needs to go in the Scentsy Club, other than this cherry one, and pie. it lasts. It's this is good, good, but that one, this yeah, one, that's the goal. You like cherry? That's it. Cherry is like my favorite fruity scent, especially when you pair it with bakery. I'm I'm sold. Yeah, sold. All right, mom, drum roll. All right. My all-time favorite, ever favorite, and I've only been able to get it and bring back my bar because it was already discontinued before I even knew what Scentsy was. So the next time they bring it back and bring back my bar, I'm going to add to my club because it is my all-time favorite. And they had this in the warehouse sale. I was so happy. <laughs> I bought several of those bar bundles. Um, for this one cent, by the way. For this one cent. I don't even know what else was in there. I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure it was in a bundle that I like most of the things, but sweet plum pastry. This is the bomb. Mm, my gosh. Oh, my mouth is watering. It is it's so, so good. good. It's so good. And you smell the plum. It smells like a pie. In case you can't tell, we're both gourmand people. Would you say that you prefer fruity bakery scents over like a sweet bakery or vice versa? Or are they equal to you? Like what kind of sweet bakery? Are you Think of? like salted caramel cupcake, for example. Like that's a sweet bakery. Whereas these are like cherry mm. almond pie I like and the fruity, sweet plum I like pastry. The sweet, I mean, I like the fruity pie scents. Almost all of them. Yeah, me too. I'm the but, same uh, But I do like the other as well, but not they're not in my top 10. Right. And I have salted caramel cupcake. And I'm drawer. looking at your top 10. All your top 10 are like those fruity bakery ones like mine. My top 10 like would like probably be waffle. mostly fruity bakery. I mean, but most of these are like food. Well, but banana nut bread would be a fruity bakery. Yeah. I don't know what stroop is. I don't know what we don't need to know. Bread. We just need to know it's good. That's yeah. all we need to know. So that's it. That's my top 10 for right now. <laughs> Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. You have seen a way more Scentsy bars than you even imagined you would get from this video. So thank you so much for staying with us all the way to the very end. And if you are here with us, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. That helps us support. Like oh, sorry. Well, <laughs> and a like. And a like. Subscribe. And a subscribe yeah. to our channel. Heck yeah, subscribe to my channel. Why? Why would they? Why would they? Because this is the best channel <laughs> for all your Scentsy and Scent. <laughs> reviews and sniffs and She's not biased at all no not, not at all, not at all. <laughs> if you like this video be sure to check out a few of my other videos i will have them placed here after this video ends and you may not catch us there but i'll catch you there bye bye and we also have a special bonus surprise for the end so be sure to say uh, blah, blah, blah. I always mess this part up because I'm not good at delivering that. So be sure to... <laughs> no, just, this is just bad. Do you want to say it? What's the big surprise at the end? Oh. Okay. They don't know that's coming. Okay. <laughs> all right we're, we're, we've already got a whole film video of blooper reels already <laughs> the first 20 seconds all right i'm gonna say we have a very special surprise for you at the at the end and then you can come in so be sure to watch till the end see that's where i get tripped up because so I'm like, i don't want to say the end and then the just end just say um and today we have a very special prize for you or surprise for you and I'll say, it's, yeah, be sure to stay tuned till the end. Okay. I like that. Okay.